Good morning. Uh, the date is February 6th. It's to Tuesday. This is the regularly scheduled executive committee meeting. My name is Jacob Fry. I'm the chair of this committee and I'm joined by council members Gordon, uh, Bender, Jenkins, and Johnson. Uh, let the record reflect that we do have a quorum. We have one item on the agenda for today, uh, which is an appointed position in the Neighborhood and Community Relations Department. Uh, and it's a director of the Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs. Uh, here to present is Mr. Uh, Rubidor. I'm sorry, I thought it was Mr. Rubidor. Um, Rick Bose from Human Resources. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Bose. Thank you for being here. Uh, good morning, Mayor Fry, Council President Bender, members of the Executive Committee. Um, we're here to ask that you please consider approving a new position in the Neighborhood and Community Relations Department with the title of Director, Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs. This position reports directly to the Director, Neighborhood and Community Relations. It will proactively provide guidance to elected officials, policymakers, and city staff on immigrant and refugee issues. It will recommend policies to the City Council that further the mission of the office and provide input and feedback to the City Departments on program development and access to City resources. This position will work with the City's Intergovernmental Relations Department to coordinate and promote the City's state and federal legislative priorities on immigrant and refugee related matters. In a moment, I'll ask the Director, Neighborhood and Community Relations, Mr. David Rubador, to come up and expand on the duties and responsibilities of the position and answer any questions you may have. We ask that you please adopt the findings that the proposed position meets the criteria in Section 20.1010 of the Minneapolis Code of Ordinances, City Council, to establish appointed positions. We ask that you please approve the appointed position of Director, Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs, evaluated at 513 total points and allocated to grade 11. We ask that you please approve the salary schedule for the position, which has a salary range of 94,551 to $112,084 in accordance with the adopted compensation plan for appointed officials effective February 6, 2018. We ask that you please refer this matter to the City Council. With your permission, I would like to turn the presentation over to Mr. David Rubador, Director, Neighborhood and Community Relations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Boss. Mr. Rubador. Mayor and uh, committee members, good morning. I'm David Rubador, Director of the Neighborhood and Community <laughs> Relations Department, and it is my pleasure this morning to be able to present to you um, this new Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs and the new position of the director um, for this position. Uh, this position really represents a significant step forward for the city in continuing to create a safe and welcoming place for our immigrant and refugee communities. As we are aware and um, everybody um, is aware that immigrant and refugee issues have become a greater concern um, over the last um, um, year or so with the, uh, with the new administration and that the work that the city is doing, we've always had a good, a great amount of work being done around immigrant and refugee of, um, work in the city already, but um, we have a current onslaught of issues coming from the federal government um, really to our residents in our city, and this position will be able to help address that, as well as proactively creating an environment to continue to support immigrant and refugees coming into the city. So not only in a reactive state, but moving um, this into a much more of a planning, uh, planning type of function. This position really grew out of some work that we were doing last year, um, again, with some of the changes that were coming from the federal level around immigrant and refugee issues. Um, we were also doing some additional work around what was called Welcoming Week, about really just creating an environment that is really pro-supporting um, immigrants and refugees in our city. And in that, um, I was having a lot of conversations with Director Corbo, with the Civil Rights Department, about really moving this from a reactive type of position to being more of proactive and, and, and leading um, initiatives that would just long-term support immigrants and refugees in the city. And so that, collectively, we submitted a proposal to create this new office. Um, the office, uh, some of the areas so that the, uh, um, the position um, uh, may take on and work on would include um, continuing the work around Welcoming Week, which is really a notion of um, supporting an environment um, of pro-immigrant refugees, but also looking for additional resources to continue to support this work. Many of the cities that have taken on um, immigrant and refugee offices like this have really gotten a lot more aggressive about working with um, citizenship um, efforts that are out there. There's nothing that protects a person more 
um, from deportation is to become a citizen. We have a lot of people in our city that are eligible for citizenship that aren't necessarily citizens at this point. We have a number of community partners that do this work and the city could take a more proactive role in being able to help and support that work as well as finding resources to be able to support that. Um, I just wanna use that as an example. Um, the city of Seattle, which has an Office of Immigrant and Refugee Affairs, the, that office worked with a local credit union to create a loan program so that people that were going through the naturalization process could apply for and get a loan in order to help pay for those costs. And through that, had liter uh, financial literacy training that was part of that piece so in order to build um, personal capacity and being able to um, uh, learn more about financing. And so put that in place. Um, the Mayor's Office of uh, New York City has also done a study that shows when people go into citizenship, they, ha they um, see an increase in um, their annual income the likelihood of um, getting home ownership and less likely to be unemployed. And so there's some financial benefits that come from this as well. So there's a lot of different things that we, we could be working on that we aren't currently working on, not to say that we're not doing good work already, but we could be doing more. And this position will help the city take that forward. Um, the position itself is actually a transfer from the Civil Rights Department into the NCR Department. The FTE transfer was approved as part of the 2018 budget. So that piece has already been completed. Um, it's a new position, um, there's no incumbent, and so this will be an open appointment process. I did ask, uh, working with uh, the HR department, that this position be a high level position in the city. This is significant policy work um, and legislative work that will need to be done, and so the position needs to be at a high level. And it also will be coordinating work around a lot of different departments, the city attorney's office, IGR, um, civil rights department, a variety of different uh, departments that um, the position will not have direct authority over, and so it needs, some, needs to be somebody at a level that can manage a multi-departmental collaboration, as well as working with a lot of different community partners. So therefore, um, uh, um, the position today before you is a grade 11 appointed position, and I think that will sufficiently um, be at the level that's needed for this, for this type of work. The last thing I wanted to mention is on just putting, putting up the org chart, as what was already discussed, this position will report directly to me and will be a part of the NCR management team. And so uh, um, it will be um, in the decision-making process of, of the department and be um, working directly with the city council. With that, Mayor, um, uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you for the presentation, Mr. Rubidor. Do we have any questions at the moment? Uh, council Vice President Jenkins. Thank you, um, Mayor Fry and um, Mr. Rubador. I'm curious um, if this position, if the office will have staff beyond the director, uh, and if so, how, how much staff? Mayor and, uh, um, and uh, uh, Council uh, Vice President uh, Jenkins, um, the office will actually be one person. It will be, this is one, um, one position. Uh, I've wrestled with a little bit internally about how we organize this within the department, whether we have three staff that work with immigrant and refugee communities already and have decided not to make these direct reports at this time to continue to have um, my staff that work in immigrant and refugee communities work with the deputy director, but that they would be supporting this work. So it'll, it'll be, they will, it's all within the same department, but they won't, the person in this position will not have direct reports at this time. My uh, notion on this is we'll try this for a while and see if it makes sense. Um, the idea would be that if we need to revisit that, we can. The, the reason I kept that separate was I want the staff that are working in immigrant and refugee communities to support all of the department initiatives, working with, with neighborhood organizations, working with the other, other engagement work that we do. And I was a little concerned about potentially siloing that work, and so mm -hmm. I want to make sure it lives across the department. So for now, this is intended to be, this would be the only person in there that would work with a number of different positions around the city that support this type of work. And then just one follow up. And so how, I'm looking at your org chart, and you said that this position would focus a lot on policy at the state and federal level. How are they gonna work with your policy and program development team? Uh, Mayor Fry and, and Council Vice President uh, Jenkins, the op the position in there that says office, a program uh, or the um, the program development position, 
is really supports the neighborhood organization work. Um, they will be part of, that person actually sits on the management team with me. So the director, the deputy director, and the policy um, uh, person all sits on the, we sit together at the table. So as this work is evolving and developing, we'll be meeting on a regular basis to making sure that we're coordinating it. Thank you, Mr. Rudar. Council Member Gordon. Thank you very much, and um, it, it's exciting to see this coming forward. I very, was very supportive in the budget process, and I think this is a significant step, and I really appreciate uh, the, the, the high level and the um, requirements. I think a master's degree or law degree make a lot of sense, and the levels of experience we're asking for, and I'm supportive of this. If it's approved, do we have a timeline of when the person might actually be hired? Uh, Mayor Fry and uh, Council Member Gordon, the, uh, um, there's a number of steps that for to go through the city appointment, the, the council process. Once that's completed, it will be opened for, um, for applications to come in. I'm thinking it'll probably be around April 1st by the time we actually have somebody selected and, um, and uh, somebody selected and it'll probably, depending on the circumstances, sometime in April, actually start the work. Okay, wonderful. And I'm, uh, if it's appropriate, happy to move this forward. Uh, thank you. Council Member Gordon has moved the item forward. Um, Council Member Johnson, discussion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> um, Mr. Rubidor, you had mentioned some of the uh, challenges of trying to coordinate work across different departments and wanting this person to have uh, the ability to do that when they don't necessarily have the formal authority uh, to do so. You also mentioned other cities that have a similar role. Are those cities structured similarly, have you seen, where they have just one individual doing this work, that they do cross-department uh, coordination, or do they have more of a formalized office with several staff? Uh, where does it live in those cities? Where does that position, where does that team live in those cities, and is this uh, similar and translatable in that regard? Uh, Mayor Fry and uh, um, Councilmember Johnson, most cities that have this have multiple staff that are in them. Um, uh, and the structure varies a little bit from city to city. Some of them have them in the mayor's office, some of them not in their separate departments. Um, but most of them have more staff in it. And, but most of the cities that have this type of work are much bigger cities. So Chicago, um, Atlanta, um, New York City, for example. Seattle, which is uh, relatively close to the size of Minneapolis, has one as well. Um, Really, this is a growth area for us, um, and I would say this is uh, for, for, you know, talking this over for the past year, this is a really good start for us. We'll see how this goes, and I would say we would reevaluate it as we move along. And uh, also, do you have plans to uh, formalize that evaluation on any sort of particular cadence, some sort of annual report or something like that along uh, that with the you know, accomplishments and uh, effectiveness of this role and any changes you'd like to see? Uh, Mayor Fry and uh, um, Council Member Johnson, absolutely. Um, this position is going to be critical that it has buy-in and support from the community. And in order to do that, we need to be reporting back. We need to first be very clear about what our priorities are and what are the areas that we work in or are going to be working in and then being able to report back about progress along the way. There's no way I think this position would be, could be successful with that, without that report coming back to the council and the community. My conversation, and I've had many conversations with multiple partners in the community already about this position and really looking for some more input from them about exactly what we should be working on. The general feedback has been that there's so much to do, we really should pick a few areas that we want to focus in on and then do them really well. And so there will be a process when the person comes on board to narrowing that scope down to what is what are those areas that we're going to be focusing in on. That type of work I'm planning on bringing back to the council. That's appreciated. Thank you for that. And just as a side note, I read the uh, press release around communication that we proactively did uh, for immigrant communities related to the Super Bowl and especially to the law enforcement presence. And I was very happy uh, to read about that and think it's uh, a great effort. So thank you for your part. Uh, in that and for all others that help with that. Uh, Mayor Fry, if I may comment on that. Um, the Super Bowl was, a, um, I think, turned out to be an excellent model on how we worked at the JIC, the Joint Information Center. Um, 
and that we did get some really good feedback, both internally within departments as well as externally within our community partners about really tr um, how we communicate and work with community in a very different way on a, on a large event. I do want to say that I want to thank the communications department, which really did the structuring around that um, and getting that put into place. We had a lot of, we had about 40 plus community, uh, 40 plus partners, agencies that were working with us on it. But the communications department really led that and, and put that into place, and it was it was great working with them on that. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. I think you did really did an incredible job. Thank you. Any further comments on Council Member Gordon's motion? Uh, seeing none, uh, there's a motion before us. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. Uh, and that item passes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rubidor. And since that's the only item on our agenda for today, uh, we are adjourned.